Congratulations. You just got you a Pro 2.4 by Tariamps. One of the very first things I'm gonna let you know is about the inputs on here. What you're gonna do is you're going to either choose the front or the rear of the back of the radio going into the inputs of the crossover. You only need to choose one, either the front or the rear. Then from there, you have all your outputs. The outputs come out of the crossover into the amplifiers. So the next step, once you actually have it powered on, you're not gonna see this screen right here. The first thing you're gonna see is language and it's gonna say Portuguese. To change it to English, all you gotta do is turn this little click knob until you see English and then you're gonna press inward in and then boom, now you're looking at an English version. I'm gonna show you how to tune it very easily. Before we touch anything on here, what I want you to do, get you a piece of paper I want you to write down your frequency range for all your speakers that you have. So from the beginning to where it stops at. In this case, I have some SCAR 10s, a DS18 tweeter. Then I also have a SCAR DDX12. Here are all my frequency ranges. Now, a lot of times you can find this either on the outside of the box, inside the manual, or you can just go directly online to find this information. Now we're going to go ahead and start doing the tuning. All you got to do, quick press in. Once you get to audio, press it in again. Now you're going to turn until you see crossover. Now, as you see, I already have everything done, but I'm going to go through the process with you guys. So if you want to set your high pass first, it's already selected. So you press in and everything blinks for you. So right now it's showing that you're talking about output one, which is true. Now we're at the numbers. So every turn is one Hertz increase. And then every turn back, one click is one Hertz decrease. So making mine's at 25 Hertz. You press it, then you have this area right here. What you have to remember to do, put it on BT48. You're gonna do that for all your channels. And you press it again. Now we're back up at high pass frequency. We're gonna turn it to low pass frequency. And as a rem reminder, mine's is 50 Hertz. As you see, I already have mine's at 50 Hertz. So once it's already there, and making sure that, that this portion is BT48. You press and hold. Now you're back at the crossover and that channel is set. So this is just an added bonus. Say for example, when you load up the Pro 2.4 and you show this display and you don't like it. Say you wanted to change it. Either the name of your car club, the name of your vehicle, or maybe even your nickname. Well, with this device, you can do that. To do it, you just press the uh, enter button. You move over until you get to text slash message. Press it in. You're gonna turn it on, press it in. For me, I'm gonna go ahead and just put in my nickname, which is Big A. Every time that you select a letter or number, you're going to input it and you're gonna press in inward on the button. Let's see. Then when you're all done, you press it in for, for pairing mode. Now nah, it's up there. With this Pro 2.4, you actually have a master volume where you can just turn the knob like so, and it can go down, it can go up. But you also have a independent volume. All you do is press it, and now you have your output levels. As you can see, I have my output level on channel one at 15. Output level on two is negative three, and output three level is negative six. And you can change it to whatever you want it to just by moving that knob. And once you find out exactly what you want it at, you just press in, and once it goes back to that screen, you're all set.